Hello, this is Christy. This video in Camtasia, I'm going to show you a solution to a question I've seen in the Camtasia support forums. And someone was asking for a way to create a cinematic text expanding effect where the text, the letters in a text or a word, um, increase the distance between them as time goes. So therefore gives you one of those cinematic titles that kind of expand and grow at the same time. You'd think this was easy because in Camtasia, you can change the vertical and horizontal spacing of words and letters, but it's not possible, apparently, for horizontal, only vertical. Let's have a look. So we have this annotation. I'm going to add an annotation here with text, and I'm going to actually make it as large as the entire canvas. There you go. And I'm going to double click and type the word cinematic expand title expanding title. Here we go. So as you can see, if you click on this in Camtasia, you can change the vertical spacing, which means the distance between the lines. So if I increase this, you know, you see the lines and also the horizontal spacing, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, you can animate only the vertical one. I mean, TechSmith, why? <laughs> it's a simple parameter. Why is someone just, you know, it feels like it was left out anyway, just an oversight. So if I add an animation right here on this timeline, shift and A and expand it a little bit. And now I can change the vertical spacing, right? So I'm, I'm increasing that and I'm increasing the horizontal. And at the beginning, you can see the vertical one animates and the horizontal one does not. So how can we do this? Well, I have a workaround. You're not going to like it. It's a little manual, but it actually works quite well. And we can build a reusable asset that we can build and reuse in our projects to have these titles, you know, with a number of letters. So let's start by double clicking and just leave the word cinematic. Okay. And I'm just going to make it default here. So I'm just going to bring it back to the normal size and vertical size to zero. Actually, I don't need the whole word. All I need is one letter. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just type the letter C in here and I'm going to make this quite narrow. And I'm going to animate these letters expanding from the middle to the sides, right? So I do need the word cinematic, but I need the letters to be individual. So this is the workaround really. So all you need to do is just place your playhead at the beginning of the timeline and just make the size of the bounding box, the container of the annotation vertically to the edges of your canvas. This helps you not move it vertically when you move it around. So you can see if I move this, the two yellow lines ensure that it stays vertically aligned with everything else and the middle line as well. These yellow lines have been added in Camtasia 2022, but what I'm showing you here should be doable in previous versions, 2020, 2021, even nine, I believe, because the text annotation has been around for a long time. So let me show you the procedure I use to make a very nice cinematic expanding text effect. Click on this one that has the letter C in it. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. If your playhead was at the beginning of the timeline, it's going to paste in the exact same position on the next available track. So now I have two of them. I only see one because they're the same letter. So I'm just going to click and move this to the side. This is going to be the letter I. Click again, Control C, Control V, and keep doing this. And, you know, take advantage of the snapping because these ones, if you click like this and you, you have the canvas snapping turned on, you see they will snap to the neighbor object. Yeah. So this is going to be the letter N. Click, copy, paste. And you can actually just paste a bunch of them and, you know, worry about changing the letters later. So here we go. Sin, E, M, A, T, 
And I just need a couple more. Okay, here we go. That's my word. Because they're all aligned and snapped to each other, you can see if I select all of them, you can see every edge is aligned to the next one. So that's step one. Now, how am I going to actually animate this to expand and keep the distance between the letters always equal? Because if I start moving them around and I start distancing them, how do I know they're going to be the same size? Well, you can use a single one of them as a distancer. So you can use one as a distancer and put it in between them and then kind of expand them and you have to move that all, the, all over the place. Well, my solution and recommendation is to use a grid. So you can create your own grid from little lines or whatever, and you can use that grid to and place these letters on the grid to start with and also on the grid to end, but at a distance between them. So here's what I do. I created my own grid pack, by the way. If uh, you would like to buy this grid pack, it's in the description. There's a link. You can buy it. There's several grids in there. You can add that to your library. And I have a bunch of grids in here. So I'm going to use the 10 by 10 grid. I'm going to bring that to my canvas right there. You can customize the line color and the size and the, the thickness and so on for your grid. I'm going to leave it by default. And this grid, actually, I'm going to place it down on the last track, just so that it, it stays at the bottom, OK? And in fact, I'm going to add a new track on top of this one, above this one, and copy and paste this grid. And the copy, shift and arrow keys, move it sideways like this until I get a double grid, right? So I need, I don't need 10 by 10, I need 20 by 20, because this is kind of roughly the size of one letter that I have. So I am actually locking these two grids. Just use the lock uh, on your track to make sure that you don't move the grids by accident if you click around on them. So now here we go. I've got my letters. So the solution is this. My word, for example, has an odd number of letters, cinematic, right? So what I would recommend is you just place one of them and you notice they don't really align to the grid because they're wider than the space. That's not a problem. You can, of course, zoom in and snap. And the, the nice thing about these grids is that although they are locked, they will still snap objects to them, which is really nice because you can have the grids uh, locked and not moving. So I'm actually going to make all of these letter boxes fit inside one grid space. This is really not necessary if you, it's just optional for me because I'm a little OCD <laughs> and I want to make sure that they're all kind of lined up properly to my grid. But you really don't need to do that. They will just work fine even without making them the same exact size as the space. Okay, here we go. That's my word. And what you notice now is that every letter occupies one space in the grid. Yeah. So that's important because it helps me now create the animation. So here's my letters, all of them, each one of them on a different track. I'm going to select all of them because I want to add this animation to all of them at once. So I go in here and shift and A, and you notice that the animation was added to all of them in the same place, ending in the same place. You can use the Alt minus and Alt plus to change the height of the tracks so you can see them better. And here are my animations, right? Every one of them has an animation. Make sure you place your playhead after those animations and now start moving your letters. And I, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to expand them so that they are at the end two spaces, well, one space apart, right? So now they're next to each other, each letter in one space on the grid. I want them to be having a, one space in between at the end, right? So don't even worry about it because of the snapping. I'm just going to put this one here, this one here. Notice I'm leaving now one space in between. And do the same with these ones. 
And because the size of these was, the size of the boxes was aligned to the top and the bottom of my canvas, it took me a couple of seconds to just move them apart one grid space, right? So here we go. And the animation should now do the job. They are distancing themselves on the grid. Here you go. Now, if you feel like this animation is too fast, which it is, you can uh, just select all the animations. Here we go. Hold down the control key or shift and select all the animations and pull them to make them longer. Maybe like this. I don't know. While they're still selected, you can still play and see if you're happy with the speed. That's kind of nice. One thing I'm not worried about now is scaling the letters, because I'll show you how we can add that as a second animation for everything in one go, which allows me to scale the whole thing and kind of make it come close to the camera while the letters are distancing. So that's quite cool. So it looks like just in the movies. So I'm going to move this animation to sort of in, in the beginning, because I want it to start moving immediately. So here we go. There's my animation. They're moving apart quite nicely, and then they stop there. At this point, I don't really need the grids anymore, but I'm going to leave them there anyway, so I'm going to hide the grids. Use the eye icon, so now I don't see the grids. I'm going to zoom out, and let's play. Here we go. The cinematic effect is working. What you may notice, it's not centered, right? So another thing I want to do is I'm going to just select all of them and shorten them like this, the animation. By the time the animation is done, really, I want the title to maybe disappear, but I can still give it a little bit of space after. So now I'm going to select all of them and group. Control G to group. And there's my animation. It still works. And because now it's a group, I can just grab it and center it. You see, Camtasia is going to snap it to the center of the canvas right there. So now this one should play in the center. Here we go. And you see the letters expanding. Now at this point, I want to add the other animation where they zoom in, right? So selecting this group, I'm going to right click on these tracks and say, remove all empty tracks because I have a lot of tracks there and I have no room. So Alt plus will increase the size of that track. Let's make some more room here. And now on this group, I'm adding an animation shift and a and make it quite long as well. And hold down the control key and use your mouse wheel to push back, you know, rotate back to decrease the size of this group. So watch what happens now. As the letters expand, they also increase in size. If I want them to be a bit, bit larger, I can increase the size at the end of the animation. So before the animation and after the animation, those are my two keyframes. And now watch this. I'm going to deselect so I don't see the um, bounds. And here we go. It's increasing in size and spacing. Right. I can maybe add a visual effect like a blur if they move faster, although because they don't really move so fast, if I add the motion blur effect to this, it's not really going to do much, right? So if I zoom in, there's not much movement. I may go in the group, select all of them, add the motion blur to all of them again. So turn on this global animation to make sure I'm not adding new keyframes and increase the motion blur to maximum allowed. So you can kind of see a little bit of motion blur there, but it's nothing you're going to notice tremendously. OK, so turn off the animation now, the global animation. After you finish increasing that blur, turn it off. Here we go. So that's my animation right there. So now how can we reuse this? Well, there's this word here. Of course, if you need to do longer words, you have to do more letters. But again, the same procedure is, you know, there. You put them on the grid, you start with the very narrow kind of grid, and you expand to a bigger grid. So you, you can have equal space. But now look what happened. If I select this, Camtasia 2021 onwards creates these quick properties, right? So you can see here all the letters that I have 
in my word. So I can actually change the letters, change the word. Always keep the middle letter in, in, in mind because you want to kind of put your letters around the center letter, right? Because you want the edges to kind of stay in the same place. If you start from the first one and it's a shorter word, you're going to end up with like two or three blank letters and then your word is going to kind of zoom to the side. Not a problem because you can still move the animation and make it stay in the center always. But, you know, just to make things easier, start with the middle letter and kind of think your way through the word. So let's create an animation here that has like three words, you know, shown. Right. So we've got this one cinematic. I'm going to copy this group, copy and paste. Right. So now this is the second word. And I'm going to just put that at the end of the animation right there. So what I want to happen is I want to also fade these, but we'll worry about that later. So now cinematic is uh, finishing there and the new word shows up, right? There's a new word here. Let's replace the letters. Let's call it uh, cinematic animation. It happens to be the same number of letters. Hey, that's lucky. So we've got animation. So basically you need to change every letter on its own. Not a huge effort if you, you know, if you need this effect and you want to do it in Camtasia. So here we go. That's my second, you know, it still works, right? So let's put another one in here just to make it fun. Paste in there and let's make this one, I don't know, presents. So here we go. Let's see. P tab R E S E N T S. Now you see the problem there. I have an extra letter, which if I delete and leave it blank, my word is kind of off center. That's not really a big deal because look, I can bring this one and align it to the center. It, 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 it has an even number of letters. So I need to be making sure that the center is on the, in the center. So make sure also you don't do that where the animation is. So you want to go before the animation and move this to the middle of the screen. And the end of the animation again moved to the middle of the screen so that everything zooms in and you don't notice that it's actually missing one letter, right? Quite easy and straightforward. If you need more help, you can always again use a grid. And I believe my grid has also a canvas boundaries and a safe margins grid or a two by two grid, which would be useful in this case. So if I bring that grid in here, you can see where the center of the screen is, right? So you can align your object perfectly to the center of the screen, right? So that's one way to do it. I don't need this grid anymore. So now let's worry about the fading, right? So fading in effect, you know, go to the transitions and find the fade. I happen to have it in my favorites here, fade. So let's select all of these three objects and just add the fade to them at both ends, right? So let's see what it does now. Look, it fades in and expands. And then the other one fades in, which, by the way, this is quite early. So I'm going to put that one here and I'm going to expand the, I'm going to pull back the cinematic word. So by the time it finishes moving, it's already faded out. So this is one, one, one way you see it in the movies. The word is growing and it's expanding but it's also fading out before it stops moving. If it stops moving and then you see it fading out, it's not so nice. It's not so seamless. It's not so cinematic. And also this one, I want to start it with the transition already showing it to me moving. And I want to make that transition the same as the other one. And let's do the same here. Make sure there's no moment in time where my, my, my video is my words are static, right? So just bring that close to the edge and this one as well. Just make it like that and bring that in here. So they kind of overlap the fades, right? So now I should have a very nice and seamless cinematic animation, right? Let's see how we did it. So this one could be coming in a bit earlier right there. So really the effect is uh, you need to make sure you don't actually see them when they start moving. So here we go. Let's see now. Here we go. It's coming in and it's now fading out. And the next one comes in and 
that one fades out, right? So there it is. There's your effect. Very easy. The principle isn't complicated, you know, to figure out. It's just about just getting the letters in the right place. And let's hope TechSmith, you know, reconsiders and adds this as an animation. A lot of people are asking for this. I've seen this question several times in the support forums and the request board. It would be nice if an animation was added for the distance between characters, the H distance property on an annotation. So I hope this was interesting and useful. And, you know, if you want to get my grids, they are for sale. The description uh, has the link to those grids. I have a lot of grids in there. There's the 2x2, two 3x3, two, 4x4. Three three, four four. There's a square grid and the canvas boundaries and the safe margins, which is always, you know, good for video editing. So, you know, feel free to get them. They're not expensive. And they are saving me a lot of time aligning stuff, distributing stuff, because, of course, Camtasia doesn't have any alignment or distribution functions. It only has this snapping thing. So in order to snap to stuff, you need a grid to snap to. So there you have it. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If you enjoy my tutorials, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like it and uh, share this video and, uh, you know, click that bell to be notified of new videos. I have more videos coming. And um, also in the description, there's a link to a playlist with all of my Camtasia tutorials, as well as uh, if you want to be a member of my buy me a coffee group or whatever membership platform, uh, click the link in the description to become a member. Members get free access to uh, videos in advance and downloadable assets and uh, things that I build. You can get them either very cheap or free. So, you know, check it out in the description to how to become a member. And thank you very much. I will see you on the next one.